Hey, 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 what's up? This is Louis Vega, and you're here at the Blue Marlin, checking out Sunset Ritual. We've been here from July 31st till September 11th. It's Louis Vega, myself, Anane Vega, and the Vega Records family, Lucito Quintero, Borisarva, Alternate, even Roger Taylor from Duran Duran. I mean, we went all out. It's been amazing. Check it out. Hope you like it. Peace. And he said, Louis, I've never experienced the adrenaline that's happening in that room. And you know in that room you get adrenaline, you know, yeah. with the, all that crazy stuff going on. You know, you get it, but he said some for some reason with this with Dead Mouse, it's been like he said he had chills on his arm. Yeah, yeah, no, he's phenomenal. He told me. Phenomenal. I really like doing the beach clubs. You know? Can we talk about that because you've been I doing think to me that's the thing, man. That's so the thing. Long. Yeah. And now, why Blue Marlin? Why the beach? Why change your residency from being, you know, you've done El Divino, you've done Pasha, you know, you've played them all. No, I played everywhere, but you know what? The thing is, it's special when you play with daytime and nighttime. And I get that sunset, I get that crowd in the daytime. And then in the nighttime, you know, we have like, it's only like three, four hundred people, you know, but it's, you have a great party with all these people. Some people are sprinkling out as you see, but the ones that stay, they get the the best finale. This place is uh, transforming. You know, I play here from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. I've never done that before. So you we're know, just talking to we play in place for three hours. Six. We decided it's six to six. Yeah, we play in place from you know three hours, two hours, whatever it is. And you know me, I have a good time. I keep going, but still, I never play in a place for 11 hours. I'm I'm literally here from 5:30. So 5 in the morning, 5.30, whatever. It keeps going, it keeps going. And, uh, How does you know, music change from outside to inside? You know, you've got... It's cool because everybody gets a little, you know, they get more nighttime. They get a little darker. But it could be darker. It could be happier. It goes in different areas. But the party comes inside and it's more enclosed. It's more enclosed. And, uh, you know, you're not, you're not, you don't have the sky above you. Look over there. You see a star, right? You know? Real bright one. And uh, you don't see none of that, you know. So you get the best of the day, and you get the best of the night, and even the night outside, you know. So you get the best of all the worlds. Get the best of it. So what's the and music that you would play outside? Well, outside, you know, I was very eclectic. You know, I got anywhere. I went old disco. I went 70s. I went like, you know, I went very uh, sparse. You know, I went masses at work. I did a little more tribute to, of course, you know, my brother Kenny Dope and myself and. What we've done over the years, I played a few tunes for that, and it was cool because you saw the people screaming. They had a good time, you know. They felt that, and um, you know, I think you know, it, you know, the great thing about outside and inside is that it leaves room for you to do a lot with music. Yeah. You know, you can really take it. I can get you real lost. You know. Uh, That'll you, happen at five in the morning. Yeah, well, no, you know, I play music that you may not know, and to me, like the people outside. They're more familiar with, uh, you know, the, uh, the songs that are familiar. You know, they're, they they appreciate that a lot more. But you got to teach them a little. So I kind of like, you know, go in and out. And I go way back today. And I do different themes. I play what makes me feel good, what, what I think makes the people feel good. And I think by now I have a good judgment of what, well, you know, like makes them feel so. good. By now. Speaking of by now, you know, next year, 20 years? Oh goodness, yes. Oh, Next la, la. year is a big year. What's planned? And Kenny don't know it. Come back to Blue Kenny Let's doesn't. Kenny weekend. doesn't know it because I haven't spoken to him yet. But you know what? Next year, for me, I mean, I've been thinking about it like a lot. I think it's nice that for 20 years that we come back and do something powerful and just do that world once over and make them feel what we felt all these years. That's You're up next year. There you go. Don't tell Martin that. House music changed so much over the years. Mm -hmm. Technology has changed so much over the years. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you can tell us, you know, 
Tell me about you go through that through house music and then let's well, you know, go to technology. I think we do what we feel and what we feel uh, make people dance and have a good time and at the same time we get experimental and we try different ideas. You know, but um, I think it's great that house music evolves and it does different things, you know, and, and I think you know, we are the core of what's been going on, whether it's techno or pop or whatever it is, it comes from here. And we started it a long time ago. And I think it's great that we keep our thing going and we just do our thing. And I think it's beautiful that there's pop music that's incredible. Like, let's say if Lady Gaga said, Louis, I want you to do a mix of one of my songs. You know I'm gonna take her to a different place she's never been. And she's gonna take me to a different place that I've never been. So it's great. I think we gotta do more of that. Gonna, That's just an example. We gotta do so more of that. Collaborations. I was actually gonna uh, going to ask you, who haven't you know? You've done so many collaborations. You've mixed so many tracks. You've done so many remixes. Is there anyone you haven't done who you'd like to do? Would I think it'll Lady be Gaga? dope to do a house track, but from scratch. From scratch. Not from a remix or a vocal, whatever. To do a house uh, record from scratch with Justin Timberlake. I think Justin. He's real experimental. He likes different vibes, and he can he can work he can work a rhythm. And I think that for him to do something with you know people like us, I think it'll be incredible. Is it something you're working on, or something you'd like to do? No, I, it, I'm not. I'm not there. doing it. I just I'm throwing it out to you. Throw it out. Oh, oh, exclusive. Grabbing yeah. onto that. Peace and one love. This is Anane, and you are here live at the Blue Marlin in Ibiza, and you are checking out. DJSounds.com. Peace. Vega Records. I think that uh, what we're doing is really special. You know, I'm bringing together a lot of great artists, and we're uh, we've been recording albums and doing some really beautiful pieces of music, taking it things to the next level. Yeah. We're talking about the years of the music house technology. You've gone from Studio 54 to Blue Marlin. Within that time, there's been vinyl. CD. We know you tried the new 2000s. What are your thoughts? You've had a play. Listen, you know what? It's incredible how things have evolved, and I have to say that, you know, um, I'm proud. I'm proud of what's going on. You know, of course I love vinyl. Vinyl's my heart. But we can't be carrying four crates of records around the world. You know? You know, but at the same time, too, that Pioneer has really taken things to a whole new level. And I have to say the new 2000s are my favorites. Really? And oh. they're in my writer. They're and I, my and, writer. I, and I tell everybody if you don't have CDJ 2000s, you don't want Louis. You have to have the CDJ 2000s. But why? First of all, the flash drives. I'm I'm hooked on the flash drives. I'm using flash drives. I didn't use it tonight because I had a lot going on. Yeah. But when I go on the road and everywhere I'm going, I come back here or whatever, I have the flash drives. And it's really convenient because I can bring less product out. And record box is amazing, but I'm still setting it up. Yeah. It, it takes a while. I have yeah. Lars in New York taking me through it, and it takes a while. But you know what? The machines sound good. I A-B'd them. I did. I did my homework. I A-B'd them to the 1000s, the Mark 3s, 2s, everything, you know. And they sound better. Yeah. Yes. They sound better. The flash drives, it can play, you know, it plays everything, which is great. You know, from USBs to DVDs, right? And, um, you know, the, the cards. I mean, whatever you want. It, it gives you, like, all these choices, you know. And uh, to me, there's no other CDJ that, that can give you those choices. If you, know, if you want to take it to the next level and do the record box thing with your hard drives and everything, which I want to do. But... It's a process and it takes time, and I don't have a lot of time right now. You know. You're working out, but it's there and it's working. I mean, it's like it's a process when you start. With no, but I, I want to do it. I'm doing it. I started it, and it, it takes time. But for the meantime, the flash drive, man, and all you know, you know, the loops. You know, you can loop it on point now. It's like bam, hit it once and it's done. You know, there's just a lot of things you can do, and um, you know, I, I think that. Uh, CDJ 2000 is definitely the, it's the future. There's nothing else. There's nothing else over that right now. Right now. I'm sure they're planning it. Anani, that's rock 
working in there. It's Blue yeah. Marlin, it's Sunset Ritual again. It's the second last week, yeah? Yes, yeah, second to yeah. the last. One more to go. How's the summer been? This is really something special that you guys have done. It's it's really been amazing. I, I don't think I could have asked for a better atmosphere, a uh, better situation where you we have the beach, the water, everyone dancing, and then it just kind of transcends into the night, and then we you know go and move it inside, and it's a club. This is a completely different atmosphere and a completely different thing that we're doing. Who is the striker? The, the, the striker, the, the goal kicker. Come on. Yeah. Well, no, I'll let it. I'll, you know, the thing is, is you gotta let him believe he is, but you actually behind him. It's the woman behind the man. <laughs> woman power. It's so, it's, out there. It, it, you know, it's so woman power. And I, I, um, I'm so feeling it this year, especially being here at the Blue Marlin. Um, and, and if I can um, leave one message, if I can leave a legacy, if I can transpire something or give off, it, it, my, my ultimate goal is to empower women. It's been a year and a half that I've been DJing. You know, it's it's very new for me. Being up there and being a, a, a DJ and playing this music and having all this equipment around me and being able to control that is very empowering to me. You spoke about Louis, he's your husband. He runs the label. Everybody looks at him. What happens musically? Do you guys, I just wanted to touch a little bit on music as well, you know? It's, sure. Do you guys share music? Does he ask you for advice? How does it work? The funny thing is, is that people say to me like, wow, I'm, I'm curious to hear you, play. like, I'm curious to see what Louis has taught you. First and foremost, Louis didn't teach me anything. He's, he inspired me, absolutely, as he inspires many people. And, and about five years ago, he's like, you know, you should DJ, you should DJ. Only because I always had my iPod playing and it was random. And he was like, you have a great ear for music. I'm like, no, 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 no. Why am I going to DJ? I'm married to like one of the top DJs of the world. Why am I going to do it, you know? But were you singing as well? Sorry to cut you off. I've, but I've been, I've always been a singer. But DJ just kind of happened by, by fluke and by, as a hobby that I, I yes, I collected music, music and a very wide genre of music. Oh and so, now when he asked me, hey, what's that, what's that you're playing? What is that, and what's that? But it takes a long time to find music, and so to find music that moves me, it takes, it's a good three hours, you know? And so when he's like, oh, what's that, you know? I'm like, mm, sorry, I can't share with you, but Sorry, Mom. You know, let me, at, at least let me play it for a minute. Yeah, let me have something special of my own. Let me play it for a minute. This year, what we brought to the island is something organic, something real. And I'm not saying this as anything else isn't real. I'm just saying that what we've brought, we've just brought something different and truly from the heart and truly from the soul and truly with lots of passion. Thank you, Pioneer. Thank you. I'm ready to uh, get those memory cards. Yeah. No, I got my whole lesson. Louis tried, and I was really impressed with what he did. So it's, it's a lot of, you know, it's organizing, and so I'm hoping to get it all together. But uh, thank you. Had it play? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the the new it's good stuff. 2000, good stuff. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Feel the house, feel the funk. We're down at Blue Marlin. We're at one of the coolest parties that's been rocking the island this summer. Sunset Ritual, Louis Vega and the family.